here it is my brand new design it's basically 100% reliable works every time obviously you won't use such large wires through this but this is my test rig and here it is my amazing magnetic switch so you've got a wire running through the back and this is just a copper wire it's tin which is why it's silver and then this is an 18 gauge stainless steel obviously you'll want to cut it to size so it just barely sticks through there and we'll solder a regular wire to that or probably the diode and what happens is when this magnet uh, comes down and touches the bottom oh, hold on. it forms a circuit see the light come on and when it comes up it turns off so this this um, little magnet is just flipping like it's gonna flip like this and form a circuit and what's great is if there's a push on it like from a from the magnet from the stem it should be a nice strong push based on the angle so let's try it ready Look at that. And you notice I didn't have to line it up carefully. I just sort of placed it on there. Let's try it again. <laughs> Look at that. Works every time, too. I can hold it down. It stays on nice and strong. And it should last. Uh, I'm going to guarantee, you know, you're going to get riskables guarantee at least a zillion cycles. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And it works if I move it away too. Like I can, like it wants to pull itself towards it because of the me the metal, <laughs> the steel bar there. Like it works a little bit far away too. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I designed it so that it's you know it's got a, quite a bit of tolerance. Um, but the uh, let me get one of these here. So if you imagine, use your imagination until I've finished designing it. The switch plate would sit above here, and the switch itself. You know, you'd have a whole bunch of switches on top, and the switch just slides in there. So technically, the switch is still hot swappable. You can just pull it right out, and this will stay behind and wire it up. And it saves a lot of space, too. Let me show you. So earlier versions, I had all the switch options down below underneath it. But that takes up precious millimeters, whereas this method... I think I just got it un unplugged. Yeah. There we go, all fixed. Whereas this method, it's just an extra millimeter and a half underneath, which is normal, right? That's like a normal PCB plate. Stop looking at the phone, gotta look at the, here we go. Look at that. So, I, didn't, I haven't measured it yet, but look at the distance there. That's probably just like, I wanna say six or seven millimeters top to bottom. And this will be the, this can be the bottom of the, of the keyboard. Like there's no, Nothing else needs to go underneath this. You can run all the wires between the switches. Look at that. I'm very proud of this design. If I can hold it still. Here we go. It, it, wants, to, it wants to pull itself, which is just a smidge too close. It doesn't work. Because what happens is the, uh, the little corner gets caught on the magnet and prevents it from going down. So i got to hold it just a little bit away. And of course, when it's, in the, when it's actually in the keyboard plate, that's not going to be a problem. Yeah, very proud of this design. It works so well. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Now i got to make a whole keyboard. I'm ready. I'm ready.